Bonnie Travels and today I am going on a trip with some of my in-laws that I am super super excited about. It's been on my bucket list for as long as I can remember but if you know me you do know that I love Halloween. It is my favorite holiday and my favorite movie that I love to watch for Halloween is Hocus Pocus. With that being said, you might know where we are going. We are going to Salem and I am super excited. It's something that I've always wanted to do and I get to do it with my in-laws that I love. I can't wait to like experience it. And then I also want to take my kids. My kids are obsessed with Hocus Pocus as well. So it's definitely a family favorite. Well, at least me and my kids. My husband would say otherwise, but I'm super, super excited. So right now I'm actually packing and then I'm gonna go to work and then from work I'm gonna take the red eye to Detroit and then Detroit to Boston so I haven't been to either place so I've not been to Detroit or Boston but I'm super super excited I know I say super super a lot and excited but it's just like the little kid inside of me wants to scream if you don't know Hocus Pocus came out in 1993 but I'm gonna keep you guys updated I'll take you guys with me on our trip I'll keep you guys posted see you guys later say hi ladies and then there's this too Right? Hey guys, it's me. We made our flight. We were sitting in Comfort Plus with the bougie headphones. Um, we came with my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law, but they are um, just a couple rows behind us. They have their own like row of four. But we are excited. So this is our first leg from here to Detroit. And then we're gonna go from Detroit to Boston. So we'll see how it goes. We just got off of work. So we might die ugly on this aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll catch you later. We'll keep you updated with our trip to Salem. See you guys. <laughs> here you can see that the airplane power is off due to some mechanical issues that they were having with our Detroit flight. So it resulted in the Detroit flight being delayed till the next day. The Detroit flight was delayed till 2.30 p.m. So we found a connecting flight through Denver. So here we are waiting for our Denver uh, flight to start boarding. Ingrid and Eileen. This is my sister-in-law. This is my mother-in-law sister. This is my mother-in-law. <laughs> Last night we were supposed to fly to Detroit and then Detroit to Boston. Um, when we boarded our flight, there was some technical difficulties and then it got delayed until 2.30 p.m. So we are currently in Denver and we are going from Denver to um, to Boston instead of Detroit. So yeah, that's where we are right now. But we will check in with you guys later. We're gonna go look for some food. This was also my first time to the Denver airport. So here's a snippet or two of just how the Denver airport looked like. How cute is this? They had a mobile Pizza Hut, so this is what we had for breakfast. So we made our flight from Denver to Boston. So we are on our way to Boston. Um, I am sitting with my mother-in-law, and then um, my sister-in-law and my mother-in-law's sister is sitting like two seats, two rows behind us. But I'm excited to be in Boston already. I'll see you guys soon. So from Denver to Boston, we got to fly in Delta's newest aircraft, which is the Airbus A321neos. And it was very, very pretty. And you could see the lighting on the top and on the side. That was my favorite part. It was giving JetBlue vibes because this is how the JetBlue aircrafts are. So it was really, really nice. We're in Boston, yay. The first thing I seen off of the aircraft was the Boston Bruins reminding me of the TV show, A Million Little Things. We finally made it. So this is not my first time to the Boston airport, but leaving the airport, yes, it will be. And here's a little snippet from the airport scenery at the Boston Logan International Airport. Mm -hmm. 
So from the airport, you do have to take a shuttle to the car rental area. So this is just less than the shuttle, making our rounds to go over to the car rental area. After picking up our car rental, we make our way over to the hotel um, to get refreshed and rest a little before heading out for the night. It's me, Ingrid. This is Eileen and Marbrenda. We are in Boston and we are currently going to get some food because we are hungry. Um, like I said earlier, we were delayed from our Detroit flight, so we came on a later flight. So with our later flight, it made us come in later to Boston, but it's okay because it's supposed to rain and stuff like that. So we'll save all of the cool stuff for tomorrow, but um, I'll catch you guys up later. Bye. <laughs> Just driving to downtown Boston, it was so pretty, but I couldn't help but take a picture underneath the Salem Street sign because I was so excited to go to Salem. Downtown Boston was so cute. There were so many shops, so many food places, just so many people as well. It was very fun. It was such a vibe, but I definitely recommend going down there if you guys are ever in Boston. So go downtown. Say hi. <laughs> Going bananas, Anna? <laughs> Silencio Bruno. I love it here. Walking around, it felt very much safe because we were in a group. But I've seen a couple people walking by themselves and they didn't mind it, but as long as you're aware of your surroundings, you should be so good. Pretty. Hi, Ingrid. Hi. Is that a library? Hello. Say hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> it's me again. <laughs> we are loving this Boston nightlife. So we are in Boston. We are loving the nightlife. Mm -hmm. um, we are currently on our way to Mike's Pastry for yes. some good cannolis. Tell you guys how it goes. There was a ton of people waiting to stand in line to go inside, but it is very packed and that is a show of it being really good. You guys need to try it. I think I have some cash. How much do you have? I think I have 40. So from Mike's Pastry, I ordered a lobster tail and I also ordered a chocolate dipped cannoli. vlogged all of our stuff at the airport. Mm -hmm. People are walking by and we're like and then there's this lady. trying the pressed juice. <laughs> Some nasty, man. Oh, yeah. I'm I like am going to bottle. try. I got the, what did I get? Chocolate dipped cannoli and a lobster tail. Mm. We're going to Wendy's. I Any one of these. Mm. 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 Mike's Pastry was definitely a 10 out of 10 for me, so very good. Here we're just going over to get some dinner before we head back to the hotel. 
So on our way to Mike's Pastry, we had seen this little food shop, Mike's Roast Beef Seafood, on the way there. So we thought we would try it on our way back. I got the fish and chips with onion rings, and then I also got the lobster roll. And you know, with the large thing of Coke. I would give the fish and chips and onion rings a 8.5 out of 10, but I would definitely give the lobster roll a a six. There was a lot of lobster meat, but it was nothing like the lobster roll I had in Maryland. So I was a little disappointed, but all in all, it was a good experience at Mike's Roast Beef Seafood. It is the next day and we are having breakfast at the hotel. We stayed at the Hampton Inn. So very good. So very delicious. Love their breakfast. Breakfast. Here we are just regrouping and just planning out the day and planning when to go ahead back to the airport. Love that I was able to go with them. After our little powwow at the hotel, we are on our way to Salem. Um, driving from where we are to Salem, you just take one street all the way down. And it was absolutely gorgeous. We were so very excited to learn about the Salem Witch Trials and just kind of see all the hocus pocus spots. Um, and yeah, so very exciting. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! It's day two. We are in Salem. So excited. Can't wait to see everything Hocus Pocus, everything witches, everything. I'm so excited. Like how? <laughs> <laughs> like suck who's lives? <laughs> Salem Witch Museum. It's an exhibit that takes you to the Salem Witch Trials in 1692 and you do have to purchase admission online. For adults it's $16.50. For seniors 65 and over it's $15 and for children ages 3 to 14 it's $13.50. So remember to book your tickets online before heading over there. Right in front of the Witch Museum on the road is a statue of Roger Conant. It's often mistaken as a male witch, but he is not. He is actually the founder of Salem. Can you let me see something over here? I don't even know anything, so ask these two experts. So this is the Salem Witch Museum. I heard it was boring, so that's why we're not doing it. <laughs> it was 45 minutes to an hour to do the tour, and I think we would rather um, just kind of explore around Salem than do like a tour because we're not here that long. On this side is the Hawthorne Hotel. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Right here in this area is where Allison hands back his phone number because he doesn't like Halloween from Hocus Pocus. Oh. If you know what we're talking about, you know what we're talking about. If you don't know, you need watch to go watch Hocus Pocus because Salem literally has so much history and I love that Hocus Pocus was a part of it. But yes. Spin. <laughs> we are sixteen, going on seventeen. 
Love that for you, Morena. Not mine since you said it, did I really? I'm like, yeah, it's like the little. This is the beautiful Salem Common. It was founded in the 17th century and it's um, across the street from the Salem Witch Museum. It's so very beautiful and there's so much history here. <laughs> Back to our roots. Just kidding. <laughs> this is the beautiful Hawthorne Hotel to the left. Um, it is believed to be haunted, so stay at your own risk. I'm telling you guys, Salem is beyond beautiful. These videos don't do it justice, but it's so pretty. Downtown Salem is beautiful. There's so many things to do, so many things to see. Just go. Ooh, the witch walk. Oh my goodness, I gotta walk on that side. So we were just walking in downtown Salem. It is so pretty, guys. I cannot stress that enough. But there's so much things that are giving witch vibes. So I was in love with this place. As you can see, coming up, there is a Ouija board museum in the back of the store that we entered. It's $10 to get in, but they had a bunch of Harry Potter stuff, so I stayed for the Harry Potter stuff. But where's the Slytherin one? This is my question. Came in here to look in the mirror. <laughs> love this little store. It has a bunch of Harry Potter stuff that I love. Look at all of that. Okay. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Love it. Poor Hedwig. Love this. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Love that. Look, there's like a little haunted marketplace the Halloween museum right there Because I said Peabody too. <laughs> the Salem Witch Trial Memorial it's blue. was oh. down that way. Okay, so we're gonna go to town hall and then back that way. Yeah, are we coming back down this way? Yeah. Okay. Fun fact for those that are going to Salem if you follow these yellow lines, it will take you to some historic spots. There's a chocolate house, guys. I finished my drink. That's a cute store. Here you can see that we are following the yellow line to the old town hall. And the old town hall was featured in Hocus Pocus, so yep. Oh, no. Look at the cat! Is this a real cat? Can I touch it? You see in Hocus Pocus, this is where they were dancing. And they sang, I put a spell on you. Here is where it started to get hard and heavy for me. If you don't know what happened in Salem Witch Trials, Let's talk about it. So in the Salem Witch Trials, it was a series of hearings and prosecutions of people accused of witchcraft. This happened between February 1692 and May of 1693. 
more than 200 people were accused, guys. 200. So of that 200, 30 of them were found guilty, 19 of whom were executed by hanging. So that was 14 women and 5 men. One other man, Giles Corey, was pressed to death for refusing to plead, and at least 5 other people died in jail. So it was so crazy that this has happened in Salem. So being here and say learning of the Salem witch trials is crazy. It's crazy to me. And so in other clips, you can see that people were coming. They were coming to um, remember these people that were executed and they came and show their respects. They came to bring flowers. It's just very heartbreaking. In these benches that you see here, they have the names of those that were executed the way they were executed and also the year. It's just crazy because some of these people were related to each other and it's just sad. Also, like I had said earlier, there was only one other one that was different from everyone and that was Giles Corey. He was pressed to death and it's just mind-boggling that this had happened. We were there during a time where it was getting super packed because it was coming up to the anniversary of a lot of these people that had passed. If you guys do end up going to Massachusetts, stop by Salem and just soak in all this history. ended up going back to some of the stores like that Harry Potter one to buy stuff that we didn't buy and right next to it was this cute little wand shop and it had a bunch of like Harry Potter stuff as well. I love this for us. just heading back to our car so that we could grab it and go to some other spots before we go back to the airport but you guys cannot tell me that it isn't so pretty like it's absolutely beautiful we've seen another statue that we wanted to go out and look at so we had to make a u-turn and stop I missed the whole <laughs> sign. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the mirror. Oh my goodness, I love this. It's very giving off like Halloween vibes. We are just walking over to the Bewitched statue. The Bewitched statue is of the actress Elizabeth Montgomery on a broom and framed by Moon Crescent. It was donated by TV Land, so that's super cool. That's the house from Hocus Pocus, Max and Danny's home. Look how pretty it is in this neighborhood. Friendship of Sailor. This 
is the House of Seven Gables, but this is the free side of it. <laughs> the free side because we didn't want to pay ten dollars to just see the back, or forty or twenty dollars for the guided tour. This is the House of Seven Gables. This is the Jonathan Corwin House in Salem. It's known as the Witch House. It's the home of the Judge Jonathan Corwin and is the only structure that you can visit in Salem with direct ties to the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. So it's pretty cool. We made it to Allison's, ha Allison's house. <laughs> made it to Allison's house and in the back there just right there, they have a garden that's free for you to go through, but so pretty. So pretty. This is the free garden that's behind Allison's house. <laughs> Take a book today, leave a book tomorrow. How cute. I love that. How pretty this garden is. So this is the first church in Salem. Unitarian, founded in 1629, that right there. And our last stop before heading back to the airport was Proctor's Ledge, and Proctor's Ledge is a memorial for those that were hanged. I'm not too sure if this is the exact location of the hangings, but this is where the memorial is supposedly nearby or somewhat in the neighborhood but a lot of the people of Salem didn't want there to be a memorialization of the exact spot due to the shameful event that occurred in the past but it was so cool being there and seeing this little memorial <laughs> We are coming to the end of our trip. We are back at the Boston airport. Just checking in, checking in our bags. So much fun, so much fun. Um, definitely something I will be doing very soon. Also, when we went through TSA, there wasn't really a line. Like in the video, can't see a bunch of people waiting in line. So it was going by super fast and that was something that I love because you know us, we love going through TSA really fast. No line. Love it. Say hi guys. Hello. <laughs> we are leaving Boston and going home. Sad to say we're leaving. This is the kid port. Look how cute. This is the end of our trip. Thank you guys for following along. We definitely recommend you going to Salem, but thank you, like, comment, and subscribe.